Good morning. Good morning. Oh my goodness. <sighs> good morning. <laughs> it's really me. Ugh. So I trimmed everything and forgot to turn on the video and chit chat with y'all. I mean, I still have a lot to do, but um, maybe it was a good thing. But I went ahead and I was inking and talking and I was trimming the papers to where they need to be. And I was saying, well, if you're new, I only have this sheet left out of all of them. That's all. And I'm going to use it to make pockets. Um, I'm going to show you where I want to put the pockets, and I'm just not sure. And, you know, I had taken the papers and print them from small to large. And there, there's the large one of the first one, actually. And then I used a couple of these that I made. And this is the background. This is, oh my gosh, it was just, uh, I know I wrote it down somewhere. It's in one of the videos where it said what paper it was. Images. Um, I had said it in another video. Anyway, uh, background images too is what it is. And this is House Victoria. And this is uh, Ledger's and receipts so if you're new and I still have to fussy cut these out and all but if you're new to me all I did was take three uh, manila folders and I'd stack the deck because it's already ready for that and folded and creased and I showed that and I'll probably do a full tutorial on that if people are interested they may they may throw their computer out after being with me. But anyway, yeah, so I'm almost done. So I'm going to just keep on, keep on right here and finishing up. We decided that I needed the right kind of magnets, so I'm not putting magnets here. So let's go ahead. I still have some going. I did use three manila folders and three envelopes, two five by seven and one, uh, what is this? business folder envelope right here and it has a pocket here but I'm wondering should I had glued that down and cut this here for a pocket yeah I could still do that but I don't know anyway I don't know should I glue this see the pockets right here which the, that pockets pretty safe with stuff but then when you close it it'll all fall that way and should I trim this to make the pockets I think they may have to they have to it's a work in progress see that's what I get for not watching other people's videos I would probably learn these mistakes which is so fixable anyway so I'm just gonna put this paper here you can see right here it's the same kind of design um, so that's why I like it. And last night I pulled up Amazon and forgot to order glue. Jeez, I'm never going to get glue. <laughs> glue, glue, glue. Which, I mean, this bottle, as much as I craft, it's probably lasted me a year. So it goes a long way when you use this little tip. And then I'm thinking as I'm making this, if I don't make stuff with a notes for notes or something, what does someone really want to use this for? I mean, I would have it as a keepsake if someone made it for me, but you do want to make stuff that is usable. So I'm thinking to myself, should um, should I... I have this one that goes on the back. Can you believe it? A whole lady made it to the back because <laughs> I thought she would go inside. So I have, I forgot about this one. I'll have to find a piece to make it. So anyway, so this one's going right here. And I didn't trim it. So this is too long. So I need to trim that one. But I was thought I had already been filming. Hmm. So this needs to be nine and a half. It's not much. I could have done that with my 
scissors. Um, but yeah, I want this to be like a keepsake holder. It's a uh, file folder folio, but I want them to be able to keep stuff in it. So I need to put more pockets or belly bands. Um, note cards so they'll keep actual notes or receipts. I mean, this could be where you put all your receipts for the year for doing your taxes because it is tax time. Or I say love notes. I don't know about y'all, but I do have a husband that will write me cards and letters and notes and stuff. So, yeah, that's that fold it over and lap. And I guess since we have her right here, we'll do her. If I can keep it straight to put on. But yeah, I was surprised that a lady made it to the back cover because the back cover is usually um, not seen so much. But it was this or print more. And I'm like, nope. But I, I am going to have to print more because I want to make envelopes and touch spots and cards and um, I'm going to fussy cut ladies if I can find it in the digis. There's actual more than those ladies. There's other ladies to cut out or just make cards. Maybe, maybe this will be where I put cards and envelopes and someone goes to it to send out a card I'm trying to figure out what use because I want it to be used so that was my thought what do you think you would use it for would you please leave me a comment and tell me what use you would use something like this for Okay, wow, and it has got some weight to it. It is heavy. It feels thick because of the uh, heavy cardstock, the 80 pound I use. And so, yeah, do I close that in, which is not a problem, and cut this? And thank goodness I left a little bit. So, yeah, I'm going to have to think about that. Okay, so. Let's go to the next page. Take some ink and get some of that white. It's kind of glaring. So I prepped. Um, well, I thought I was talking to y'all. I didn't prep. I prepped my paper by inking it and keep going. This layout, I wish it was all the same. It is collage, and that's what that is. But to me, it's not the same. But this is where I'm going to either attach envelopes that's made out of the paper, or make pockets. I don't know, or tuck spots. But this is this isn't my favorite out of all of them. I mean, I love all the papers, but this isn't my favorite. Um, but this isn't the center either. So. We'll have to figure out something. Have the laundry going. Woke up with my back hurting. I think I slept wrong. I um, got one load in the wash already, one load in the dryer. Have a uh, dinner falling in the sink for tonight. Hopefully it'll fall quick enough because it's a roast. I should have taken it out the night before so that it would be ready for the crock pot, but I can always do an actual pot roast. The pot crock pot takes six to eight hours, but the pot roast on top of the oven, stove, top of the stove, I could probably do in three to two or three hours um, on low simmer. Do y'all cook a lot? Yeah, so there's that layout. I did lay this one here and I thought I was recording, so that's nice. 
So that goes here and that lady made it to here. So it's going to be like that. That's not how it opens. So that's going here. Okay. So we only have about five of these to glue down and the main uh, project is done. And then it's a lot of extras to make and everything. So this is truly um, a day project. Um, now that I have how I'm going to make it and everything, that will probably take an hour off. But right now I'm thinking I have three and a half hours, maybe four in it. The time I print more and fussy cut, it's a day project to do all this. So yeah, I like doing things two and under because I don't have a lot of time so I can get a two hour project done and if I don't get it done in the morning I could do half in the morning and maybe half after dinner but I tell you once we have dinner I'm wiped. <laughs> I'm just wiped out and I'm just ready to sit and watch something on TV. This had a lot of white. Let's see. And I, this is it. And I took, I don't know if, you, if it's showing up or not. And I took my ink and just, and it really brought it down to vintagey and matched better. So I was happy I did that on this one extra sheet. And remember I had glued, I don't know if y'all knew this. No, you didn't. I only took a little strip of piece of paper like this and I glued it on here. I glued it down and then I glued here and here. So this was a this was always going to be a pocket. So I only glued here and here. And so yeah, you can get in there as a pocket. I think my pockets are hard to get into because they should be here instead of here. But it is still doable because it, it'll have a, I'll have a, I'll put a piece of um, lace on here so you can pull out maybe tags, long tags or something in that. But the other envelopes, I do think I'm going to switch it around and close up one end and open up the other one, which is so doable, thank goodness. Okay, so dinner is thawing in the sink. Um, laundry is going. And let's see, when did I vacuum last? Uh, I swept a couple of days ago. Could probably sweep today. I'm not going to. I'm not going to have time. It was come hang out. And craft or get work done. Okay, we're getting so close. Let me think. If I had to pull something in and out, yeah. You definitely see it and pull it. This is too big and I don't want to fold it, but let's see. Yeah, you could definitely, if you had uh, something right, yeah, you could definitely pull out. So that one is a keeper. Maybe not on the next one. I'll reconsider this one part here. Um, See, that could fold either way, but I like it folding that way. Um, yeah. So this also had a lot of white, so I put some ink on it to calm it down a little. So 
So yesterday I brought up a couple of friends' names that follow me. I mean, they religiously follow me. One lady is the lady Deb, and she made a tip uh, thing for me, and she sells them. So if you need, and I will never lose it because it is a dangly for my tip, and it goes inside there, and it keeps it from drying out. But Debbie watches everything, and she's so sweet. So if you need to buy it, I think it's around 20 a little under $20. Um, it's under 20 So if you want to buy one, let me know, and I will uh, tag her or, or get that information for you. If you mention it in the comments, I'll just tag her because she has a YouTube uh, channel too. Uh, what is her last name? It starts with a V. Uh, I don't want to pronounce it wrong. Debbie Vonnegal, I want to say. Anyway, she does a lot of shabby chic vintage. She does really nice stuff. Okay, so I'm glad that this is, I can read it and then when it falls down, I can still read it. And here is another vintage lady. I'm glad I pre-inked. Maybe y'all will like this better that I pre-cut, pre-inked, and I am prepared. Pre-cut, pre-inked, prepared. I could be a Boy Scout. Prepared. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the Boy Scouts. My son is an Eagle Scout. My husband was a scoutmaster for many, many years. We have wonderful friends from it. I was a cub master and scout uh, in the Boy Scouts. I was a commissioner. We did a lot of stuff for the scouts. We had a um, camporee one time in St. Augustine, and I had a uh, National Guard there, Air Force. Uh, I had, I have to think, um, I had Alligator Farm, Marines, Army, Fire Department, we had Police Department, we had a helicopter come and land on site, um, we had Coast Guard, we had, uh, 15 different, uh, things like that show up and the whole day we had about 20 different um, scout troops and every hour they would rotate no it was every 30 minutes because there were so many scout troops every hour they would rotate and have a 30 minute demonstration with um, with all these different people showing how the helicopter started we had the Coast Guard bring big old massive boats um, on huge trailers that I didn't even know they could bring in. I thought after 32 foot they were a yacht and they didn't have a trailer. It was amazing that I um, did all that thing. Yep, I did. I did that. I remember. That was some fun days. Anyway. It took a lot of months to prepare. We were on the news. I wish I could find the pictures. I don't know where any of my pictures are from when I had my children. Um, they were all on my laptop and then that laptop crashed, but we had it downloaded to a thumb drive. And I don't know where that is. So, I tell you, these people that get to post on Facebook their life, and then you get a memory each year, this is what happened a year ago, at least you know that if you lose your photos, Facebook will show them to you again in a year. And that's so nice. And then if you lose your phone, you're hurting. But boy, I have over a thousand pictures in my phone that I need to... Um, download and save into a thumb drive type of thing on the jigger. 
Uh, what else? Am I giving y'all good ideas and memories and things to do like laundry, dinner, thumb drives? Do you have to take notes? Because I have to take notes for everything. This ink, ink this um, glue is wanting to clog up, so I'm taking a long time putting glue on here because it's not wanting to come out. And I'm squeezing kind of hard. Usually by now it'd be blowing a gasket coming out, but it's getting stopped up. So that's not good. But I just want to finish this. This is my last video. My next one won't even show this. It's going to show all the envelopes and all that kind of stuff, or it might be just a project share. I mean, I think, what is this, the fourth day? I mean, how much do y'all really want to hear and see me? So, but yeah, we're almost done. We only have like four more little pieces. Two, two, one more big one after this and a couple more little ones. And we can do a walk through. And we would be going faster if my glue would come out. It is coming, but it's just slow for me. I mean, I look how hard I'm squeezing. Oop, see? There's some. <laughs> it wanting the clog. I don't want to unclog it. I just want to be done. Oh. wonder what we're going to do this weekend. I think we're going to stain the logs. Even though we've been on the property a year, we still haven't stained the logs. I pressure washed them and totally cleaned them again. Um, yesterday, my husband put up a ceiling fan and light in my bedroom. Believe it or not, <laughs> he had just a wire and a light bulb hanging down for over a year. Didn't think anything of it because I forgot about that it was there. We never turn it on because we have a nightstand light, a light on the nightstand. And then I'm like, you know what? It, it, it's, it's been there too long. So I told them last Friday, you have one week <laughs> so to get, get it done. So we have three more little pieces. Isn't that so pretty with all the extra purple? That's purple lavender -y color lilac not lavender <laughs> lavender is an item not a color lilac is a color okay I need to go take a nap already <laughs> okay we, we, we are almost done guys we did this I have a lady that always comments uh, and she's from a different country. She doesn't make very many videos. Her name starts with an S and I, it just flew out of my head. I was going to say her name and it just flew out of my head. Um, let's see. Come on, Blue. Please come out. I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's not very much. Come on. And it's so thin that it's drying before I can get it all the way across. I have a clog happening. Got two more pieces and we can do a walkthrough except for, yeah, two more pieces except for that one spine, but that's okay. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get them done. I'm getting excited. I'm ready to go on to the next step and that's fussy cutting and that's just fun and relaxing to cut the dolls. I've got to go find some of the more digis and cut out some envelopes. I have an envelope maker by We Are Memory Keepers. I'm darn if I cannot find that thing, and I want it. And I'm not buying a new one because I know I have one, and I don't want to spend another 
what is it, fifteen dollars? Oh. It's in one of the sixty buckets behind me. <laughs> behind me. <laughs> oh. But everything's in a bucket, so no mosquitoes or spiders can get in it. The buckets are in the garage. With the lid. And then my craft room is full. Because I keep buying. Actually, I've been really good. I haven't bought very much. I do buy a lot of Anna Griffin. But other than these digis and paper, I haven't bought nothing. So I'm doing pretty good. Considering if you know me. Did we do that other piece? Am I done or am I needing to stick that one more? I don't even know. That goes there. That goes there. Let's see. Yeah, we have to do this one piece. And then we'll do a walkthrough. So that one piece can be... It could be one of these because then it would match... But is it too matchy matchy? I'm just what I'm doing over here is just digging through, um, digging through my pieces. I think I'm gonna just use. Let me see. I don't have one either. I'm just digging through my little scraps to try to find something. So let's just use one of these. Okay. So this I know is three fourths. Oh, don't fall apart and mess up now. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it's three fourths. So I need to take a quarter inch off. So I need to make this. Um, a half, which is very hard on this machine. So, because it only does inches. Mm, you know what I'll have to do is make tick marks. And then wait with me because I'm almost done. I want to walk through it and show you my design. Tick mark there. And a tick mark there. And it's going to be hard to even hold it. Huh? So if I put that there. I'm pretty sure this whole silver is a half. Yeah. I can't even get that piece out, but I don't need that piece. I'm done with that for a while. That feels good. Now I gotta ink this real fast, guys. Ink, 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 ink. And then I'm gonna go through a walkthrough and then I'll start fussy cutting. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I don't know what my schedule is. I don't know what the kids' schedule is. Um, I don't know what my husband's schedule is. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get to this tomorrow or get to this. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have time tomorrow morning. Or just the weekend to just work on it all and then just do a project share. Okay. So I think I'm going to lay it like this. 
and that just reinforces it really nicely trying to scoot it over line it up that's good okay let's do a walk through really fast I got glue on me I got all the glue on my little fingers didn't like it. Okay. Wow. I used uh, five, eight, 13 sheets of paper. Well, if you include this one, but yeah, 13, 14, 15, 16 sheets of paper, 16 sheets of paper, and three uh, manila folders and three envelopes. So, we're not done, but let's have a walk through. Let's move this so that that don't hurt you. And let's see if I can bring bring you closer and have a walk through. See the lady's face. So it opens like this like that and then that I think I'm going to change the envelope from opening here to opening right here so then there's the lady and we'll have to put like tuck spots or something here definitely put something here because that can be covered up way more than the ladies and there's a flap I thought about what to do is just glue right here and glue right here and then that makes, if I glue here and here, that makes a tuck spot. This could be a photo album too. That makes a tuck spot right here. That's my brother James. Isn't he handsome? Um, he was a salesman, but he also DJed. And he started DJing when I was in ninth grade. He started DJing. So he knew everyone in our town and other towns so he was very popular I mean extreme extreme okay so tuck I'm gonna glue here and I'm gonna glue here and that's gonna make a tuck spot for stuff okay so then this one will probably have an envelope or something something stuck on it and then then and then you'll see this lady I like how I cut on each side to have this lady right here and then it opens and we'll have something here and we'll have something here just don't know what yet because um, I haven't thought that far out <laughs> so then this is this is one manila folder this is one manila folder and then this outside is one manila so So on this we saw the lady and then there's another lady there and if you open it they're looking at each other saying what <laughs> so yeah okay this is a pocket and I've already glued it down and it's a generous pocket you can put a lot in there and you could actually hold quite a few photos if you want but whatever I do put in there I'm gonna have lace to pull it out and then we have an open spot this is a pocket <coughs> and then there's another lady there and she looks sad she's waiting on someone to dance with her this is sense and sensibility <laughs> um, or it's Emma <laughs> or Pride and Prejudice. Okay, so then we flip over, and um, I was going to have this be a tuck spot. If I thought about it, I would have had her way over, but I didn't even trim this paper very much. So this still might be a tuck spot, even though 
you're not seeing her. That might be another tuck spot because there's really no reason to open it. So yeah. And then here's another envelope. I really like these ledger papers. And here is how you get in. And look, and look now that it's totally dry, I mean, it, you have a lot of space in there. And there is our lady here. And um, then this is closing it and there's the back that you saw me do and then we'll find lace and tie it up and this is a good nice weight and all so there she is guys um wow we've made four videos and we got this done and each video was 30 minutes I guess and, and everything so wow we did it but I did do about an hour prior in between and all so yeah so next thing I do is fussy cut and cut those out for cards and little booklets and I need to make a booklet of some sort and everything else so oh my lord I have so many ideas in my head that I just need to get them done and everything um, I'm going to show you what my next project is since I have you here if I can find it I think my next project will either be pink chiffon dreams or Marie Antoinette so it won't be this size because Marie Antoinette only has the eight sheets so I'll have to figure it out because this is two collections. This is just um, uh, background number two and then the house of Victoria and Victoria, Victoria um, ladies. So there we go. I hope you like it. I am happy with it, you know. Um, this is my first on this design and I still need to make pockets. I'm considering making pockets with this. These are really impressing me. Um, I like the vintage feel and look and there's so many more that have perfume in Paris. I'm thinking about that's these pockets will be individual of different ones like that. But there's a lot of room and a lot of space in here. So this is a file folder album folio file folder folio album look look at all that in there it's yummy and yes I will sell these because I can make more and more <laughs> so if you're interested hit me up and I'll let you know we'll talk it out and figure it out so okay guys thank you for watching Please be safe. Have a blessed day. Go start your laundry. Take your food out for dinner for tonight. Okay. <laughs> Bye.